It's Jay. Can everybody hear me? We've been working on the uh, the Facebook and the YouTube and the Google Drive, trying to make sure that when I play something, you guys can see it on Facebook or YouTube or what I'm sharing. So um, hopefully we've got everything worked out. I can see you guys today. We figured out what the issue was um, with me not being able to see you guys, but here we are. I can see you. You can see me. So we're good. All right. I just wanted to um, touch base with everybody again on uh, our Facebook. Um, as you see right here on June 18th, the uh, old Facebook will be taken down and the new Facebook, um, the address is right there. Um, as far as I know, they're trying to uh, move all of the videos over there. If not there, the videos will be someplace else, but that's a wealth of information and knowledge. I think I had seen stuff, uh, videos from 2018 to the present on the old Facebook. But like I said, it you know we're trying to do a new updated Facebook and um, trying to be uh, where everybody can be um, included and incorporated in, in some one area where you can see everything. All right, let's see if I can uh, see, get the uh, new, oh, I didn't get that. Okay, that's the old Facebook, all right. All right, and this is our Muskogee Opanaga uh, YouTube. I do have links today to the, um, to our social media. Everything is always changing. So um, I'm trying to make sure that everybody is updated and we have um, everything out there for you guys to see because we are doing a lot of things here and everything is constantly moving, constantly being updated. Here they are, here's the links. All right. So here are the YouTube links. You see the first one here is for the Muskogee speakers. We have um, some interviews with Muskogee speakers and um, this is the YouTube link that you will be able to go to. Hopefully that'll pop up like it's supposed to. Like I said, we've been working with this this morning. So trying to make it a little bit easier for everybody to see everything. Okay, yay, it, it worked. All right, so the Muskogee Language Program, this is um, one of the YouTube links. You see all the videos here of uh, our speakers. You can, uh, you may see people you uh, recognize or you um, like Miss Coco right here. She's uh, Thank you. mosquitoes in the area in 90 seconds. Our, um, a simple but brilliant trick you can do tonight. Uh, She's, she's the one that takes care of all of the language CDs and everything that you guys um, request. If you guys have requests, it's usually Miss Coco that does all this. But see, it's got all of these videos and all of our speakers, I mean, a lot of the speakers, and they're constantly adding more um, interviews with people. And um, I think it just, I don't, I'm not sure because I've only seen a few of them, but um, I think some of them just tell stories. Some of them I know I've seen tell their background, you know, as far as I know one of them told about um, how they were in the military and their military um, um, service and then how they came back and trying to reintegrate. So these are all different kinds of stories from different people and they're all up here. And you see our Mahaya Gracine up here. She is, uh, she's one of our speakers, Gracine Hicks. You see Mahaya Phillip right here. You see Mahaya Carolyn and uh, other people that uh, have come and gone in here to uh, Mahaya Barnett come in here to speak. So this is um, one of the, uh, if you guys have been practicing and want to hear um, our, our speakers, this is a wealth of um, information for you guys just to turn it on and to listen to the speaker speak. And you, if you're not fluent or if you're not that far along in your language journey, you will hear this, the language being spoke by different people. So you can catch on a couple of um, uh, vocabulary words you have, um, have um, learned. So this is, like I said, this is really cool because you know if we speak it, we're learning the vocabulary words. It's nice to hear the speaker speaking the language in the Muskogee um, tongue. So like I said, this is um, out there on the uh, Google links. 
I put it in uh, our our um, for this 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 week. I put it out there. You see the YouTube link. Um, there is also another. Oh, oh, here's the other YouTube link. So this is the other YouTube link. We are constantly, like I said, constantly adding on to this. These are all of the Mahayas that have taught and are teaching right now. You see Mahaya Eli's class, a sentence structure, Muskogee, a sentence building Muskogee structure. You see Mahaya Becky's Barnett's class, um, Muskogee language class, and you also see mine. So if you have any extra time, just go on here, pop on there. And even if you just have to miss for um, for a couple of uh, classes, just jump right back on there. They should be here. Um, and like I said, we're constantly adding more information here. But these are our two um, YouTube links right here. And like I said, this is also in the Google Drive. So you, you are able to um, look at it. Here is the old Facebook page. Um, I just showed that a few minutes ago um, when we started. And here's the new Facebook page. Come on. Well, it was opening up earlier. Let me see. All right, there we go. Yay! It's all exciting when, when technology works. Sometimes technology gets cranky. Especially on a Monday, technology is cranky. But today she's working. All right, Muskogee Opanaga. This is our new Facebook page that they are trying to um, do more and new and improved things here. And I know I've showed this before, but for those of you who are not in that class, I wanted to make sure you didn't miss out. And um, right here, you see that we've got a new incentive reminder of um, that they've got the memorized vocabulary vocabulary app and they've got a new thing where I guess you get you get to be a winner of the month for for doing this uh, app I'm not familiar with it but you can read it here on Facebook so the like I said these are the cool things that they're trying to incorporate um, for for our learners because we're trying to make it as easy as possible and here you can see the app right here and this is something new to me as well. And I showed it on my Friday class um, up in the city um, that this is available. And I will show you how to get there or how I got there. And uh, for those of you who know how to do the QR codes, there it is. Just, you know, um, it should take you, take you straight over there. But I like the fact that, you know, um, you, can, you can receive um, um, free things for, for learning our language. You know, that's really awesome. And don't ask me what you're going to learn because I have no, I mean, what you're going to, what you're going to win because I have no idea. <laughs> they they, uh, they want to keep it a surprise. Okay, so I clicked on that link on the Facebook and this is where it brought me. Muskogee Open Nugget Level 1 Memorized Courses. This is, uh, I was just talking to, um, to Miss Jordan Squire and she was saying that this is new. And uh, this is available. You see the memorized courses, the ones that you get credit for, you get some kind of prize for doing certain things. This is also a link to Mahaya Barnett, Becky Barnett's class. Also a link to my class and uh, a link to Miss Eli's class. You see the Google Drives here for our Zoom lessons and they've got the new Facebook page, the new Facebook page. So if you guys get lost, it's all on here. And the, Evening Muskogee language classes are also there as well. The reason why they split it up since I do the Monday and Wednesday and then the evening Muskogee language classes is uh, Zoom has two different numbers. But uh, that's that's the only reason why they um, had to do it that way. Zoom wouldn't let us uh, use the same number for, for the daytime and the evening for, for some reason. But this is all out there. This is all cool things that you guys will be able to look at. And like I said, this is our new Facebook page and it says right here, link tree. That's just what I, I clicked on. And then you see right here for, should be the Instagram pops up. There you go. 
And like I said, it's posting a lot of different places. We're trying to make sure we capture all of the, our Muskogee citizens that are you know, here and abroad. All right. And uh, Robert, this is what I was talking about the other day. This was stuck in my head. See if it plays. I don't hear. Well, let's try it again. Okay. All right. Remember I said that was stuck in my head. I was walking around. And that's one of the things about language. Your mind is constantly remembering things, even in the background. And I was walking around thinking, what the heck am I? I didn't even remember what it meant. And then all of a sudden, I would say maybe uh, the end of the day, I was like, Oh, yeah, it's talking about salt. And uh, once you guys start, once everybody starts learning the language and you'll get, you'll get a, uh, maybe a, a word or two stuck in your head, that's what happens. <laughs> All right. All right, Mado. Let's see. Instagram page. Like I said, this is also our Instagram page. Right now, we are not currently doing the TikTok, but they're getting back into TikTok. I guess the uh, Mahaya that used to do the TikTok um, uh, is not working with us. Um, he, I think he got a, a different position. So um, he knew about TikTok. We're all trying to learn about TikTok. That's not, that's not my genre. I don't know about that. I could do other things, but TikTok is not, I, I'm still learning on that as well. All right, so this is in the Google Drive. These are all the cool new things that are available. Like I told my class on Friday, we are getting a website. It's actually, we're just editing the website for um, all of this stuff to be in one place. It also has um, the New Testament in Muskogee. So all of the New Testament is in Muskogee on that new website. So those of you who were asking about that, it's, it's there. Like we've got hymns that are out there, Muskogee hymns being sung by um, our um, Muskogee people. What else? It's got the, the links to YouTube, the Facebook, the Instagram, the TikTok. Um, let's see. It's also got word of the month, I think it has. And it's got ways to, um, to reach out to us if you guys have any uh, questions or comments or suggestions. All right. So that's what's really cool about what what the uh, Muskogee Creek Nation is doing right now, because they're tr we're trying to reach as many people as we can to help you know, further the language. All right, let's go ahead and um, let's go over a couple of these. Trying to go back to six. See if I have them on here. Sometimes I no, it doesn't. Sometimes I put them on there, and for some reason. It takes a little while to show up. So let me go ahead and go right here, present tense. We're just gonna do a couple of these and then I'll move forward as well. All right, set at present tense negation, second person. Um, we we're doing third person this uh, last week, but I just wanna refresh us. All right, so the rules for a uh, second person is uh, drop the ETV, you get the verb stem. Add your person marker, which last last week was last, well, not last week, but the previous week was it's because uh, they we're talking about you, you add your negation, co or eco, you add your subject marker D, you add your auxiliary verb, which is os, am, r, is, humbada, to eat, verb stem, hum, add your person, it's, add your negation, eco, Add your subject, T, add your auxiliary verb, os. Remember, the reason why we add ego instead of ko is because the K, hombitsk, the K is not a vowel. So we add a vowel, E K O. If it was a vowel, we would just add ko. And so the Muskogee um, sentence is hombitsky ko os. And like I said before, there's some people who say hombitsky ko dos. Either one works. And so the literal translation is eating you not are, you are not eating. All right. And that was second person. So let's go back to third person. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I think it should, yeah. We only had one class last week for for um, the Monday and Wednesday class, and then we had the Friday class. All right. Let's just, like I said, revisit some of this, because I know it's been the weekend and people forgot, and we just have to uh, try to get back into where we're remembering Muskogee and the tense that we're using. Present tense negation is the third person. So remember, we started out third person last week, so we're just continuing that, and um, um, I'll show you the other breakdown, and I, I uh, didn't show you before the other breakdown that I like to show you guys, so you can see each what each part of the uh, word is, the sentence is. Rules for the present tense negation, humbida to eat, drop the verb stem, oh, okay, drop the ETB to get the verb stem, add the person marker, since we're doing third person, there's no person marker. Remember, this right here is my placeholder. It could either be that or the circle with the line through it, but this, this time I'm using the open and close parentheses as a placeholder, knowing there's something there. We're just not putting it there. All right, add your negation, co or eco. You add your subject marker, t. You add your auxiliary verb, os, am, are, is. Humbada to eat. You drop your ETB, get your verb stem, add your person marker. Remember, in that person marker, since there's nothing there to show that the person marker, it can be she, he, they, or it. So in that person marker, it can be she, he, they, or it. All right. And then right here, you add your EKO. The reason why you add your EKO is because this part right here, this is a P and there's nothing there. So we don't add, uh, since, since uh, it's a, a consonant, we, we're gonna add the vowel EKO. If it, if it was, a, if it was a, a vowel, we wouldn't add the E. But since it's a consonant, we add the EKO. And then you add eco. You add your subject marker T. You add your auxiliary verb os, am, are, is. So the Muskogee um, word or the Muskogee sentence is, and I, I try to make it easy for, for those of us who are still learning how to pronounce these. So I broke it down, hom, be, go, os. Be, like in be, hom, be, go, os. Hom, be, go, os. I know sometimes even, you know, um, you, you have to get back into the Muskogee thinking. Sometimes you say P or B, but it's B, like a B. Hom, be, go, os. And like I said, uh, sometimes people say hom, be, go, dos. Eating, she, he, they, it, are not, are, they are not eating. So remember right here, that can be, she is not eating, he is not eating, they are not eating, all right? And that's just all in that little parentheses because you see right here, between the P and the E, there's no uh, first person marker, and there's no second person marker. So you know it's third person mark. You know it's a third person. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Is, is it starting to make sense? Is it, I know repetition, repetition, repetition. That's how we remember things. And um, like I said, I'll go over a couple of them. And as you see, it's it's starting to get easier because you can see that. Um, the uh, the rhythm and you can see the um, the steps. Now the hard part is remembering all of this. You're remembering first person from module one. You know I am eating, and then after we do module two, remembering all the steps for I am not eating. So um, there's other modules coming coming through, like I am going to eat. That's a module coming up. All right, so L gray, drop the ETV, you get the verb stamp, add your person marker, no person marker for a third person, add your negation co or eco, add your subject marker, add your auxiliary verb, akopanida to play. So you verb stamp, akopan, your person marker, like I said, the placeholder, open and close parentheses means she, he, they, it. 
You add your negation, go or eco. Right now we've got eco. You add your subject marker, D. You add your auxiliary verb, os. So in the Muskogee, akopane kot os. Akopana kot os. Or akopana ko dos. All right. I said, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. And I know there's some of us who are still working on, on um, saying the whole thing. So that's why I have it broken down. And I encourage you on your printouts, whenever you print these out, just to mark your little notes to, to help you remember how it's supposed to sound. Okay. And the literal English is playing. He not is. He is not playing. All right. So the third person right there, playing he not is. Um, can somebody answer the question, why is it he? Why, why is it he? Can it be something else? And if it is, can somebody either type it or unmute and just let me know what else could be a place of he, playing blank not is? All right. It, uh, it, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Thank you. It's right here. This is what, what it could be. She, he, they, it. Right here, I chose he. It could also be she, they, it. Thank you. But oh, all right. So that's perfectly, you know, fine to put she, he, they, or it. And um, when we make these sentences for a third person, it's up to the person who's writing the sentence what, uh, which one they're going to use. All right. Awesome, awesome. Looks like everybody's catching on, catching on. All right. So, like I said, I'm just going to show you a few more um, of these, and then I will show you the, uh, the new ones that I made up. It's a different format, same steps, but it helps us to think about all of the steps. And sometimes one, one way will help somebody and a different way will help another person. Akopanada to play. Verb stem. There's no L grading. And those of you who don't remember what L grading was, that was in module one. There's no L grading in um, negation. Okay, Akopan, you add your person marker. Remember, she, he, they, it. You add your ego. And then you add your subject marker T, you add your auxiliary verb. So you've got right here, the one of the breakdowns is aqua pun, that's your verb stem. Your person marker right here, there's no person marker for third person. All right, so ego is the negation. That's how you know it's not doing something. Ego or go. Right here, you've got your subject marker T, You've got your os, which is am, are, is. So just on this sentence from Akopanada to play, you've got your verb stem, you've got your person marker, you've got your negation, you've got your subject marker, and you've got os, am, are, is. So that is a whole conjugated um, uh, format right there. So now we can see Akopanakot os. He is not playing. She is not playing. It is not playing. They are not playing. The fact that you know what each part of this is, to me, is really exciting because I have to go by steps and um, I know what this means me, you know, now. So I don't have to go up to somebody and say, what does this mean? I'm teaching you guys to know what these mean. So you don't have to go up to somebody. You're like, oh, okay. This makes sense. I know what it means. And it's going to come slowly but surely. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing. And again, let's see. Let's try one more before we go to the new ones that I've made. Okay, nojira, to sleep. Third person, nojira, to sleep. Oops, okay. You drop your ETV, get your verb stem. No L grading. You add your person marker, no person marker. So again, open and close parentheses. You got your uh, negation, co or eco. You add your T, you add your auxiliary verb, os. So there you got the same exact steps, 
but in a different format. So whichever one works best for you, do it. If they all work good for you, just do each one of them. All right. So you got your verb stem, knowledge. You've got your person marker right here. You've got your negation. You've got your uh, subject marker, auxiliary verb. Noja quote os. Noja quote os. And you see that I've um, put it on there. No g quote os. Put it together. Noja quote os. Or noja quote dos. All right. Okay, let's see. Here we go. And then template. How many people have used the template? Has anybody tried to use the template for any of the other um, uh, infinitive verbs? Does anybody want to try to, um, to share with us if they've used, uh, if they've made any sentences or if they've uh, used another infinitive verb? <laughs> I know for me, when I had to learn all of this, and, and you know, at the time, I was telling people, I'm investing in myself. And if you think about it, those of us who are learning the Muscogee language may be the ones who are holding on to our identity of, through our culture and our language. So nobody can say that you're not a tribe anymore. You don't have any speakers. But we are learning so we can keep that, you know, our, our ancestors legacy alive that they couldn't speak. They were forbidden to speak. So I like the fact that I am doing something, picking up the slack, where, not slack, picking up where our ancestors could not. We are learning this. So if you know anybody comes up to us and says, well, how can you be, how can you be uh, indigenous? You don't even know your language. I know my language. You guys know the language. You guys may not be as proficient as you want to be, but you're getting there. So I like the fact that we can stand up and say, hey, we are learning and we know our language. And while you're alive, while I'm alive, while any other speaker's alive, we can always say we have speakers and we have speakers up and coming. Those are the, the children that are learning. I know I'm teaching my grandchild. So that's to me is, a, is an honor you know, and I, I think, you know, to bestow it on you as an honor to speak our language that our ancestors couldn't speak, forbidden to speak, save the country in World War I and II through our code talkers. So we're doing things that a lot of people do not understand or know, and we're carrying on their legacy. So that's why I get so excited about our language, because I'm like, my mom didn't know how to, she could hear it, but not speak it. Her mother was in boarding school, so she was forbidden to speak it. Her grandmother was forbidden to speak it. So I'm picking up all of this where they couldn't or they weren't able to speak, and I'm speaking for them. And I, I empower you to think of it that way, because I know some of this is kind of monotonous, and you just go, oh, here we go again. But you guys have a big responsibility to yourself and to all the people who are Muscogee who, for some reason, aren't speaking. Because we are the ones that are holding the language and the culture just in the little bit that we know. And once we keep expanding, we're going to, you know, we're, we're growing. We're growing in our language. All right. Did anybody have uh, anything they wanted to share with us for the, um, for the uh, conjugations? Did anybody have any sentences? All right. Okay. In that case, let me go ahead and put, see if I can, I'm still trying to learn this technology. So it's exciting, but it's kind of scary because uh, it's new to me. Nothejira, that means to cook. All right, so we'll go through and we'll do this one. Just so, I can make sure that I have all of the bugs worked out of my uh, template for you guys. Just help me on this one. So let me put in. All right, no, they did to sleep. 
And we're going to do it step by step. Okay, you drop your ETV. And the verb stem just slides on down here. All right, no L grading. Add your person marker. Add your person marker. Like I said, this is right here. That's my placeholder. All right. Got to do this step by step. So I'm trying to <laughs> make sure I get all this done. Okay. There, there. Okay. Add your person marker and then. Oh. And. Add your person marker. And then it, you add the EKO or the KO. In this instant, can somebody let me know if that's our first placeholder? Is it EKO or is it just KO for this? Somebody uh, mute chat, put it on the chat. Just let me unmute, say it, or put it on the chat. And let me know. Is it EKO or is it KO? North Age. EKO. EKO, yes. And why is it EKO? Do you remember? What if, is it because the vowel? There's no vowel at the yes. end? Yes, yes, exactly. This is a consonant. So we can add the vowel right there. If this was a, say that was an E, you would only add KO. Good job, good job. So since that is a uh, consonant, you add the EKO. So you drop that down. Oh, and there's your T, yeah, and there's your T. And then you add OS, all right? And then E K O P O S. All right. Now say J K O P O S. Does that make sense for everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Good. I'm trying to make sure I scoot this up. So. And the there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verb stem right here. Person marker, no person. Placeholder right there for the person marker. You add your negation again, E K O, E K O. You add your subject marker, P, and you add your auxiliary verb. Os, no theje go os. No theje go os. You are not cooking. Oh, cooking right there. You are not cooking. All right. Did that help? Did that make sense to everybody? It looks like everybody's on the track of. Uh, knowing why we're doing things. And that's awesome. So this is a template you guys have in your pocket now to do um, the uh, infinitive verbs to conjugate for you are not doing something. So this is one of the things that I would you know keep handy whenever you're learning all of this stuff. All right. Let me go. Okay, so six. All right, and this again is a different format, but this, you know, like I said, makes sense to some, you know, and it, I like the fact that you can see what you're doing. You can see what every little part of it means. You've seen how we've gotten to this part. We've seen how we've conjugated. So akopanada, which is to play. And this is the translations. 
And I like this one because we can see exactly what the Muscogee word is. Uncle Hun, which is the verb stem playing. Here's our placeholder for third person, she. Here is our, our not, we are not doing this, eco. Oh, I forgot this part. I forgot the T. The T is the subject. So if you guys who printed it out, put, a, um, put an arrow there and put a T for the subject marker. And ox is, playing she not is. And that goes down to akopane kot os. Akopane kot os. Or akopane kot dos. Literal translation is playing. It not is. It is not playing. And like I said, sometimes it sounds a little, and I've changed it from here because I, I put she up here, but it's the same thing. Playing it not is, playing she not is, playing they not are, you know, playing, yeah, playing it and not is. So when I'm thinking about something like it, it is not playing, you can talk about, you know, you're throwing the ball to the dog or something and the dog gets tired. It's like, it is not playing. That's, that's where I see the context for that one is. All right. Third person negation for humbada to eat, humbe kot os. So we all just now seen how we conjugated to get to humbe kot os. This is just like I said, the breakdown. It's just a follow up to what we just conjugated. Eating is the uh, the verb stem. She is the person marker. Not is equal. The T right here. I've got to change this after the class. The T right there is a subject verb. And then the os is eating she not is. Ombe got os. Ombe got os. Eating she not is. She is not eating. All right. Is that making sense? I, like I said, I've got a few more here to show you because the more and more we go over this, the more you'll remember. And then, um, Next uh, next class, I'm asking for, I'm challenging everybody to make at least one sentence. One sentence on, on um, I am, you know, you are, they are not doing, she is not doing, he is not doing, it is not doing. Just just one sentence. And so you can share it. And, and this is just to help you. It's not to, to put you on the spot or anything. I'm not going to send you up to the blackboard and have you do it. But uh, this will give you a little time to play with the uh, template and to see, you know, if you get the rhythm and you get the understanding of what each thing means. Okay, no os. It's not playing. It's sleeping. <laughs> okay, so those of you guys who have yours printed out, put sleeping. Sleeping she not is no got os. Sleeping she not is. Here it is without the uh, placeholder. You see my little placeholder up here. So this is what it looks like without it. No jeko os or no jeko dos. Sleeping they not are, they are not sleeping. That needs to be sleeping, sleeping. All right. Okay. Yeah. This is the one to cook, Nothaja, Nothajada. Nothaja, Nothaja called os. Cooking she not is. Nothaja, Nothaja called os. Nothaja called os. Or Nothaja called os. Cooking he not is, he is not cooking. So if anybody wants to do a practical and um, let's go off of module one and you want to cook something, I, I can taste test. You know, I'm, I'm open. You know, <laughs> just send it overnight. I'll let you know. Hey. <laughs> All right. I was telling my husband the other day, you know, that I was not cooking and he's kind of learning a little bit of Muscogee. So he just kind of looked at me and he, then he realized what I was saying. Okay, you covered up to, to walk. Your cup, walking, your person marker, she, equal, not, 
the T, remember, just make your little, uh, make your little um, arrow. That means the subject marker is the T. Os means is, am, are, and is. But in this case, is. Ya kaba got os. Ya ka be got os. Ya kaba got os. Or ya kaba got os. All right. Walking, she not is. She is not. This is supposed to be walking. She is not walking. Just mark that out and put walking. I will go back and I will change this. But if you guys already printed it out, just change it on your own. It's right there. And um, let's see, there's a couple of people still that may not have seen this. Let me just refresh and reiterate this. Okay, these are, are the links that are also on the Google Drive. Um, we have a, a website that's coming that is actually in the process right now. But this is uh, the YouTube links that's in the Google Drive of our fluent speakers. Make sure it's loading. Oh, there we go. So this is uh, because we have two YouTube links. The Muskogee uh, Language Program has the speakers here. I encourage you guys to sit there and choose one and just to listen. Listen to the Muskogee words. Listen to the Muskogee sounds. And uh, each person, you know, just like in, in English, they have their own uh, sound to them. And some of them may have an accent. Some of them may not. But just sit there and listen so you can start catching on one word or another word on here. And it helps you to expand your vocabulary and it helps you to expand um, listening to our Muskogee um, speakers. Sometimes it gets a little, you have to turn it up and repeat and listen and turn it up and repeat and listen. And uh, you, can, you can hear the, uh, the sounds that you hear Mahaya Barnett talking about. There's Mahaya Phillip, Mahaya Carolyn. So they're all on here and then Mahaya Barnett right here. So, you know, these are out there for um, you guys to listen to. Here's the other YouTube that we have. And the reason I keep um, showing you these links is because they keep adding on to it. So something that might not be there today may be there tomorrow or the next day because they're constantly, constantly doing some cool things on here. Here's Mahai and Eli's um, lessons. So you can go back and you can look at them and listen to them. Mahai and Barnett's and mine as well. So this is out there on the Google uh, links that I have for you guys. Also wanted to show you this. The, this is our old Facebook. I know we've had it for many years. So this is... Effective June 18th, they are going to uh, take the Facebook page down. And there's our new Facebook address, Muskogee Language. All right, I'm trying to get into this one. For this one, for some reason, this one didn't become a link. So I'm trying to show you guys, because this is the new one. And it's really, really... I think it's really cool because they've got so many new things on there. So this is our new Muskogee Opanaga Facebook page. This is what it, this is going to be our main one right here. Um, and just like today, I, I learned that they have incentives for learning for using the app Memorize, and I guess you get some kind of uh, oh yeah. Four winners of the month in June will get the Muskogee Dictionary, set of nine CDs, phrasebook, hymn books, resource packets, Muskogee tote. So this is really cool. To learn the language and to, um, to participate, you get some free gifts. And uh, also here is the, uh, the app, the Learn Muskogee on Memorize. For those of you know, who know how to do a QR code, just, just uh, you know, pop that on your phone and it should come up to what, what you need. Here also on the new Facebook is the uh, link tree or that they have. And this is all new to me. So if I'm saying something wrong, I apologize. All right. So you can just click on there. You see that it's got our Instagram. It's got the uh, memorized courses up here for Muskogee Opanaga level one. Memorized courses, Mahaya Barnett's class, my class, Mahaya Rowland's class, Google Drive for the Zoom links. 
Muskogee Open Audio Facebook page and Evelyn class if you guys are interested in that. But it's all there. It is all there. And this is really cool. This is this is exciting. Um, they are going to restart the TikTok. And like I was mentioning to people before, I'm not a TikTok person. So this that I can't even tell you anything about TikTok other than I'm I've been making the words of the day. Um, my daughter is on TikTok and I don't know. I just see little snippets and I think that's what it is, snippets. But here is also our, our Instagram. It also shows the incentives for, um, for using the app. But like I said, I wanted to show you guys before we uh, ended today, I do have right here, Achuki, the clothes. I remember I was telling you guys, I was trying to put the, uh, the sound to the uh, PowerPoint. And for some reason it was not working last time. This time we tried it, it was working. Now, if it works right now, we'll see. But uh, all right, this is out there. So let me go ahead and go through it. Move this out of the way. All right, so Hona, dress. Iokovkira, shirt. Gaba, coat. Arikbega, pants. Is ingi hoodie, gloves. Kotopoga hat. That was stuck in my head the other day, Kotopoga. I was like, what the heck am I thinking? What am I saying? I was walking around, Kotopoga. <laughs> <You know? laughs> These things get stuck in my head, but that one was stuck in my head. Okay, so boots. So, so, titka. so, so, titka. so, titka. so, titka. so, 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 Supposed to be influent or you know sound have that sound yet, but I'm working on it. And like I said, you will hear the sounds that uh, uh, the uh, Mahaya Carolyn has uh, helped me with this, and she said the words. And then Estela Vega shoes, so 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 hochachka socks. And this is how I learned it, and and you see that when she says belt, it sounds com almost completely different. But this is how I learned it. So when so when I get up, so when I get up, so um uh get that, so when I get up. All right, let's play. Tell me if you can hear it. Una, yuku kira, gaba, arik pega, stingi hodi, gadoboga. Sutika, Istilibega, Sahujatska, Siwanagida. She said Siwanagida, and I learned it Siwanakeda. So you see the difference there? Like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get that smoothness of our language. But she sat and it made it sound so rich and so good. <laughs> so that's what I aspire to sound like. And um, like I said, we're, you know, just with practice, we'll get it. We'll get it. And I think that that's where we're all trying to be is where we can sound like a, you know, a first speaker. We're still on our language journey. We will get there. Just don't give up. All right. That's all I have for you today. These are some of the um, vocabulary words we can use in our sentences. Like I said, I, I challenge you guys to at least do one sentence on I am not doing something. Um, and uh, just share it on the next class. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Any comments? Is that helping everybody? All right. Mado. All right. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for coming today. And I will see you next time. All right. Mado. Adam Tihichakakli's. We'll see you guys all again. Mano.